Good morning and happy Monday. I'm so, so excited that it's Monday. Honestly, to be honestly, to be honest, to be honest, yesterday, I was just having a very relaxed day, but I didn't like that for whatever reason, and I just found myself thinking over and over again, oh, I just can't wait for tomorrow, I just can't wait for tomorrow, like, I don't know, Mondays are just this incredible thing for me, and I look forward to them, and I crave them, and I wish away the last day of the weekend for them. I am going to be working on my July content today, I'm gonna to be sending out my Monday email, and I'm gonna be telling people about my Chart Your Cycle course, which the next session is starting July 5th, so everyone has to sign up by July 4th. Another thing is, I've been really looking into, I think I'm going to just build my own desk. I have been sketching out plans. So the desk I originally thought I wanted was something like this, but then I saw one like this, but it was like $1,600 and I'm not about that life. And I was like, I could totally build a desk like this, but I don't want to take on building drawer, drawers from scratch. So my solution is I'm going to find a nightstand, chop off the base of it, add a leg, add a leg, add a top, and boom, I have my dream desk. You can't see it that well, but this is the style of desk that I have kind of concluded I want and save myself $1,700. Uh-uh, honey, it's not happening. I'm having some leftovers from lunch yesterday for breakfast today, actually, it's about 10 o'clock. So I have rice noodles, broccoli, um, peppers, orange peppers, and I think there might be some onion, and there's tofu that's marinated in some soy sauce. And then I just use some coconut milk and some like peanut sauce. Pretty, pretty freaking delicious. I'm almost done editing the second vlog and then I can start working on notes for my actual femhead head footage. I also put a puffer vest on. That's not on my capsule wardrobe because I'm cold and I don't wanna wear a blanket around myself because I'm an adult and I'm trying not to do that. Oh my goodness, it is almost one o'clock and I just finished uploading the two vlogs from this weekend. That took way longer than I thought, but it's okay, it's worth it, it's done. And I have some watermelon that is questionable whether it's good or not. Yeah, it's definitely questionable whether I can use this or not. I froze it because it was starting to go bad. I don't know, I tried to travel with fruit, but then they don't travel well and they end up going bad and then I can't use them. So I think I'm gonna make, try to make a smoothie and then I'm gonna eat the rest of those noodles, the leftover noodles, because I'm out of chips and so I can't really eat. I think Michael ate the chip dust even, yeah. He ate the chip dust so I can't have any chip dip. So it's just noodles, so we're gonna heat this up and then try to make a smoothie. Like, I don't even know what to do with this. It's rock solid. And I can't microwave it because it's metal, so. And then a very ripe banana. Just kidding. I found spinach. So we're gonna put in like a heaping handful of that. Easy peasy, rice and cheesies. So I made myself a big green smoothie and then I have the final little remnants of the leftover noodles. Delicious. So I was working on notes and then I don't know whatever reason I got distracted and now I'm commenting back on, replying to comments on Fem Life right now. And you guys are so sweet and I love, I love the comments. Okay. Responded to Fem Life comments. I'm not even gonna go on Femhead right now because that will be a black hole that I will never get out of and it's already after one and I have lots to do. So right now I'm working on my notes for a video of why I quit the pill. This is actually the very first um, video that is on my Femhead channel. I wanted to make kind of like an updated version of my perspective now. I think that's a very common, you know, curious question of like why did you quit hormonal birth control because a lot of people think like you have to be on hormonal birth control to be responsible and safe but you do not 
You can be responsible and safe with a natural form of birth control, like turning your cycle, and that's what I do, and that's what I love. And so, anyways, I just want to make an updated video. So right now, I'm working on the notes. I have finished the notes for week two for July's content calendar, and now I'm going to start in on week three. I need to take my hair out. It's like pulling out my scalp. Oh. And I'm actually really tired today. Um, I'm going to be starting my period in a couple days, uh, this sometime during this week, and I can feel it. I can feel myself like, uh, like draining and slowing down. And I've gotten a lot better at trying not to fight it, but it's still a constant like battle slash learning process. So I'm gonna go grab my yoga mat and put on some yoga pants and do a self-led yoga routine. So hopefully my yoga pants are dry from earlier. I did laundry from this weekend. It's wet. So we're gonna have to find some different pants. I don't know if you can see, but my lips got really chapped this weekend at the race to the point till they're like peeling and cracked. So that's what that is. My poor cracked little lip. It's also like about that time. It's like two right now. And that's always when I'm like, I need a break from work. And so my new thing that I've been trying to do for a couple months, not always successfully, is to stop what work. Just stop work and to do yoga or to meditate or like go for a walk or do something. Like take a break and I always come back feeling better and like rejuvenated. So just a little bit of yoga moves and I think I'm just gonna lay down in Shavasana for a while and maybe transfer that into a meditation. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just got done with my meditation and I didn't time it or anything, but I feel like I was there for quite a bit, um, but it was amazing. Now I'm just super, super zen out and I feel incredible. So someone asked me to talk about thin privilege and I was gonna write a blog post that I, I think I'm gonna force myself to do it, but like as I'm looking it up online and like reading tweets and that sort of stuff, I find myself so uncomfortable and like I don't have a right to talk about it. I say that because I have always been a person with a fast metabolism I've always been almost 5'7 and I fluctuate between like 115 and 120 one maybe um the most I've ever weighed was like 132 I think when I went to Thailand I can eat whatever I want I can you know just I can do whatever I want and I don't have people making assumptions about me I think it is good to feel uncomfortable. I think it is good to be made aware of issues, especially things that you don't deal with. One thing that I've realized over the years is you don't know, like regardless of how someone looks or like you don't know what someone, like what's going on in their life. A person that is heavier than another person could actually be healthier than the skinny person. So anyways, I'm just looking that up. I'm searching, I just searched the hashtag on Twitter and now I'm gonna look it up on Instagram because I do believe it exists, but I don't know how to talk about it. Mm -hmm. 